What's going on everybody? It's your boy Fox back in the house. <laughs> I bet you's like, darn, he's gone again. But no, um, uh, there was something going down with like one of my homies and all that family emergency. So I went to go check up on him yesterday. So that's why uh the chapter was not released uh like it normally is. So yeah, that's that's why the chapter wasn't dropped. Um so obviously today I am reading the chapter. Um I'm I'm just from where I left off last uh my last on the last episode, it's a pretty much a continuation of the conversation between Remy and John. So I mean two and two together, you feel me? But this is already too long, so let's jump straight into it. Wellston Boys Dorm. Ah, oh, yep, like I said, it's a continuation. But hold on, wait a minute, hold up, y'all hold on, wait, let me go back, let me go back. I'm sorry. Before I start reading. Let, but let me buckle myself in, cause last time we had some juicy conversation going on, you fizz me. I need I, let's see what let's see what Remy got. Strike back. No Empire. No Star Wars. I may have been oblivious, but I've always but I've always stepped in when the situation called for it. You, on the other hand, witnessed everything that went on and did nothing about it. Oh, boy. You know, you, you know you're the strongest out of all of us. If you had an issue with all this injustice, you could have fixed it easily. So explain. What gives you the right to push all the blame onto me? <laughs> Jumping straight into the chapter. Oh, boy. Let me, let me tell you why I didn't do anything. Let me tell you why it's all y'all's fault. It ain't just your fault, it's all of you. This is as much your fault as mine as it is mine. Ooh, wrong. I was a cripple and I put my trust in all of you. But all you did was let me down. And so so I'm stepping in I'm so I'm stepping in I'm stepping in to end your bullshit. <laughs> what you're what? What are you doing? Won't what you well, I can't read what you're doing won't end anything. It's making things worse. John, I understand your motives. No, you don't. And I agree with you. All this mistreatment needs to stop, but destroying everyone's trust in high rankers isn't the way to solve this. By using by using violence, you're only encouraging it. We should embrace the fact that people look up to us and continue to use our influence to guide them. Look, the thing about the thing about the masses as a collective, they're always gonna sway a certain way, no matter which, no matter how much you try to point them in a different direction. But it's not the conversation for another day. But from now on, we'll be focusing on teaching them to treat others with more respect and more respect and less hostility. I don't know why I want to say hospitality. Isn't that what it says? It's hostility, kids. I'll speak with the other high rankers. Uh, he's he's bubbling up. We'll figure something out. You dumb <laughs> yeet. You think you can fix all this by talking? Facts. <laughs> Wake the f up. <laughs> Nobody gives a sh about what you have to say. <laughs> Listen, my brother was the former king here at Wellston. He reduced the amount of violence at the school by convincing strong students to get along with the weaker ones. Sure, he had uh, to micromanage, but he was able to maintain all this on his own from uh, the dura for the duration of his term. Do you not see that in line right there is the key error right there. He managed to keep everything. He managed to do everything he wanted to do while he was in power. And yet, the moment he left, it, he's only been gone for a year. Whatever. And the school has already uh, devolved back into what it was once was, and he's and you. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm, I'm trying to point out uh, what what is going on. So, so I'm telling you, it's possible if we work together and we get the others on this too, the school can change for the better. I'll ask Blake Eisen. I'll ask Blake and Eisen to join us, and I'm sure. I can sway Arlo as well since he's worked closely with Ray before. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Blake, Eisen, Arlo? The same idiots who tried to beat the shit out of me, talking nicely, treating people with respect? <laughs> You're fucking delusional. Listen to me, John. I know them well enough they'll change. Bullshit. With that logic, Arlo has already worked closely with your oh-so-righteous brother should have changed. So why is he still a st why is he still a fucking prick? Why doesn't he run this school the same way your brother did? Exactly. You ain't got nothing for me. I'll tell you why. Because people won't change until you beat it into them. Everyone is inherently fake. They put on this nice front when you're around. But the second you leave, they go right back to their roots. It's exactly, it's exactly what Arlo did. He dropped your brother's system because he never gave a shit about weaklings. That's, that's not true. Arlo may be a jerk, but he's always kept everyone's best interest in mind. <laughs> oh, well, you shut the f up already. <laughs> You're so annoying. Now, you, now this is devolving into just a screaming match. But, but you know, I get, I get his temper. You don't know anything, and you haven't said a single useful thing since you came in here. Get the f out! <laughs> I haven't said anything useful. Uh. No and yes. It's no and yes. Well, everything she's offered up so far, to me, in my opinion, is just nothing but a, putting a Band-Aid over the gaping wound. You feel me? But let's go. You haven't been listening, John. I just proposed, I just proposed a solution. I told you how my brother handled the situation, and I said we could model after him. Did your brother change anything? Did he put an end to the abuse? He did. No, the abuse is still here. So therefore, your solution isn't a solution. Because it, it didn't work, <laughs> dumbass. As far as I can tell, your brother is just as useless as, as every other high ranker. Whew, those are strong words to be talking about the deceased like that. Now, while I do agree that everyone was just following Ray for the fact that he's the king. And order dictates what king says goes he did try to what he did try to make the school better it didn't work the way he wanted it to because obviously it's going to take way more than just one person trying to enforce this and even then it wouldn't even matter because even if you got this even if you got wellston to work this way society is still the other way but i w i will admit disrespecting her de her deceased brother like that. That's it's a little overboard. It's a little overboard for John. <laughs> and you're an idiot for believing <laughs> for believing he actually made a difference. That's it's rough. Oh, look at her. She kicked in the ability. John, you take that back. You don't know my brother, so you don't dare talk about talk about him that way. Ooh, <laughs> look at him. He's like, "Or what? You'll fight me." <laughs> Your brother can go to hell for all I care. <laughs> that, that is going, that's crossing a line. That is, that's crossing a line. Even I gotta get, even I gotta get that. I'm like, that. <laughs> oh, shit. This, on this video, if this video, if I ever get monetized, this video will be definitely demonetized. There are too many curse words in here. <laughs> I give up. And that's also the problem. Y'all give up too easily. You gave up after one conversation. There's no point in trying to reason with you. I really hoped we could come to a compromise. But you refuse to listen to anything I say. I already know what I need to do. So we have reached an impasse here. Fine. As she walks away. <laughs> then I'll see you in two days. <laughs> and obviously they were listening in on the whole conversation. Uh, we didn't hear anything. I'm like, you ain't got to lie, dog. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Remy, you okay? No, nah, she ain't okay. <laughs> she's 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 already gearing up in her mind. Yeah, I'm fine. What the come on, let's go Boy 
I ain't gonna stunt though. John, that was a little too far. Ooh, Serafina. Look at her, looking like a snake. I like the short hair too. Short hair and long hair. I prefer either one. I think I'm preferring the. Sh I think I prefer the short hair more right now. John is Joker. Why would Arlo say something like that? It's, it's so random and, and it doesn't even make sense. Therefore, there's got to be something to it for him to blurt it out like that. Then walking off and pretending like it never happened. What was his idea? <laughs> was this I? Was this I? Wow, was this his idea of a prank? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Ooh, Elaine. Ain't seen her in a minute, dog. Good morning, Serafina. Did you rest well? Not really. Something on your mind? Arlo said some stuff to me yesterday. Some nonsense about John being Joker. <laughs> She's like, yeet. Uh, wait, wait a minute. He, he said what? Overreaction much? <laughs> she, she's like, but why? How should I know? He's probably just messing with me. What what do I do? What? If Arlo wants Serafina to know, then he must have his reasons. But John would never want her to find out about this. Yeah, what to, what to do? What Elaine, you're acting funny. I just feel like maybe Arlo mentioned it for a different reason. Huh? What you talking about, girl? Hmm. I doubt it. He's never up to any good. <laughs> that face of concern. Like, should I tell her? Or should I not hot? Because if I tell her, John will break my face. But if I don't tell her... Actually, if I don't tell her, then nothing will probably actually happen. Well, but... Besides the fact, she'll find out on her own. Or she could get mad at me. I don't know. This was also a lit chapter. But now it is it has been more confirmed than it ever has been before. The rosters are set, gentlemen. We have John Joker Tuesday going up against the Lightning Queen herself. Remy X-Ray. I can't think of another another uh, su uh not pseudonym uh With all that being said, join the Discord and do and uh it's Shiboy Fox fumbling his way on out of this video. <laughs>